Well, we had one pole left on that run and the post driver quit. Well, y'all, today is the day that I haven't been looking forward to. And that is trying to get this area around the pond done. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm not looking forward to today. No, and we already made a mistake. Yeah. Park the trailer where we can't. I know, I wasn't even thinking. That's okay. <sighs> all right. Not, not looking forward to today at all. But um, yeah, today is the day that we've been dreading. Um, this area here is probably the largest area yet. And that is going around the pond. Now, luckily we got two sides done, so we only gotta do two sides. Thank goodness for that. Um, but this one side is by far the longest side we got. That That's gonna take a lot of poles, but it's a straight shot pretty much so that's gonna be helpful because we don't have to worry about moving the string and all that we already got the string pulled it's pretty much a straight shot and then we're gonna 90 and go across the uh the dam of the pond and it's pretty much a straight shot so that is in our favor what's not in our favor is that the ground's probably hard and yes there are huge shade trees over there but we're not going to be in the shade the entire time we're thinking probably 50 50 or 60 40 where 60 percent of the time we're going to be in the sun and we do have some clouds today but it's not big fluffy clouds that shade the sun it's like these type of clouds right here so the sun is out in full force again today uh yesterday it's been getting hotter and hotter and hotter today is going to be another one of the hottest days so far and again we're just going to pace ourselves we're going to work a little bit and then we're going to stop and then we're going to work a little bit and then we're going to stop you guys may not see that on camera because i don't show all that but we do pace ourselves tremendously <laughs> especially as i mentioned before i only have one kidney and i dehydrate easier than a person that has two kidneys and i have de dehydrated before in the past which makes it even easier for me to dehydrate so we got a cooler full of water we've drinking a lot of water already so we should be good there but we just look <laughs> That first initial hit of coming out here is the worst. Once we're out here in it and we kind of get a little acclimated to it, it's not so bad, but getting started in this heat is the worst. It is terrible. And our dew point, I think, is around 78, uh, 78, 79. Of course, 100% humidity, so we are not, we're not drying out. Uh, we don't have a dry heat here. So we constantly feel sticky and wet and heavy all the time. You guys are just going to have to excuse me because I still have allergies. So if I sound stopped up or congested, that's what's going on. Um, hopefully whatever is blooming now that's got me all in a tizzy will eventually go away soon, I hope. Um, I've been taking uh, our honey. I've been taking a tablespoon of honey, which I ate my honey on our oatmeal anyways. And been doing a little extra tablespoon of honey on top of the Flonase I use. For those that are wondering, Peaches did give us the day off yesterday and we took full advantage of it. We relaxed yesterday. We, are, we got a little local lake that we like to go to and we went over there and just relaxed and swam and goofed off and had a wonderful time so thank you peaches so this area here that we're fixing to do that we've been dreading for a while is the area that goes around the pond 
and this will be for the waterfowl, the ducks, and the geese. Also, we're going to allow nugget over here, um, and this will be another pasture for the goats. It's a uh, holly's in the water now. <laughs> Wow. Likes us working over here. She does like us working over here. I may get in there with you this time for real. I mean for real. We got some shade. I guess it's we just need to go ahead and bite the bullet and get started. I know it feels great. And uh quit dreading and start working. You ready? Be over soon. Be over soon. Just like I figured, this ground is hard as a rock, because look at it. We had one pole left on that run and the post driver quit. It's running, but the cylinder's not pounding. I hope it's just an easy fix. I'm fixing to start Googling and see what I come up with. Um, I don't know, fingers crossed. <clears throat> Hoping that it's just debris, like we done drove so many poles that it's just gotten, you know, some stuff down the side of it and it just needs to be cleaned out. That's what I'm hoping. I didn't see anything on the directions or anything about it, but that's what I'm hoping. All right, so I just read about it and this is, uh, it's, it's semi common and Maybe what happened was, is that when we were, they call it dry firing. I don't feel like I did that on that post, but say for instance, I didn't have enough pressure on it and the cylinder went to hit and it didn't hit anything. I, it, I guess how it works and that the cylinder just kind of stays in the place. So what they suggest to do is to set it back on the post and then lift it up and slam it back down to release that, that hammer. And, um, hoping that gets it. Um, everything I read that uh, it happens a lot. Most of the time it happens when you crank it up and rev it up a bunch of times and the hammer is it, not hitting anything and so it just kind of stops and uh, which we haven't done that. Um, we read about not doing that but it was just weird that it did it on a post but I don't know maybe I was lifting up. Who knows? Who knows? But hopefully, hopefully that's it. One time. Get it for a minute. I heard it. That was it. That's it. Wow. All right. Thank goodness. I heard a different sound on that second one. Yeah. Like a plunger. Yeah. Yeah, you like probably it. couldn't hear it. I, I couldn't. Hear. I still got my headphones. I'm probably yelling. But uh, yeah, I heard it click that second one. So yeah. we got, are we done with this one? We got one more. Uh, one or two more. Okay, so let's finish this on that. Thank goodness it worked.
um, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I was a little worried that the machine was gone or couldn't be fixed. I just, that's, if I was that machine, <laughs> you'd be gone too. And you? I had pounded that many posts, mm. I'd have done been gone. Agree? I agree. But thank goodness it was just an easy fix. Thank goodness for good old YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the Rhino YouTube page. You was look. it really? Mm -hmm. My first thought was, and this is why we didn't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> we bring a stake down there, or are we just going to look first? I don't know if I can drive a stake in or not. Well, we were going to try to get to that pole, but I think we're going to have to turn. Out. Man. Man, this seat's hot. <laughs> Everything's hot. I'm pooped. Me too. It says Can I say a, that? It says it's 104 I right see. now. Yeah, I'm pooped too. I think it's 110. <laughs> That's probably what the heat index is. Oh, it's hot. Mary Carl told me earlier it said 112. Really? Was the heat index. So I have a feeling it's gone up. That's so too. From 112. But you know, I don't want to get out of the air conditioner now. Yeah. You know, this has been about the same time. We thought we get done about 3, 3.30. Yeah. And to me, this is the hard, hottest part of the day. It is, definitely. You know, you think you're going to go out in the afternoon. Yeah. And get things accomplished because it's going to be cooler. Yeah. When I stained those doors that evening, yeah. it was almost sundown, and it felt just like it does right now. It does. It's awful. So if we don't get started in the morning, then we're in the yep. we're in the heat. Y'all, we went in a few minutes. After we got through, uh, we kept seeing storms on the radar here and there, but right when we got through, a big storm come through here and gave us a good bit of rain. Um, but it gave us some lightning and some wind, and whew, it was, it, was, it was a doozy of a little storm that come through here that lasted, I don't know, probably about an hour. But I'm grateful for it. I can tell y'all that I'm absolutely grateful for that rain because we needed it. What I'm not grateful for is... I've been telling you, I've been dealing with these allergies, dealing with these allergies. It was raining. Couldn't go outside. Just turn some more thunder. And um, I told Brooke, I said, I'm just going to take me just a, just an antihistamine. Um, a daytime one, not going to make me drowsy. And since it's raining, not much we can do outside. But this just, uh, I feel like I'm on a cloud. I can't stay focused. Um... I feel like my head's in a barrel. It got rid of my congestedness. I will tell you that. I do not feel congested anymore. I don't have any allergy symptoms whatsoever. But y'all, I just feel like, blah. I mean, it's just, a, I call it a NyQuil hangover is what I used to call them. It just, and you know, you take NyQuil and the next morning you slept really good, but the next morning you just, just can't do much. And just kind of how I'm feeling right now. Mmm. On one hand, I'm glad that my allergy symptoms are gone. Uh, I mean, that feels great. But on the other hand, I wish I hadn't have taken the darn thing. Ugh. Huh. I hear you, Scott. <laughs> so all that being said, we had one crazy day today. Uh, number one, we accomplished the area that I've just been totally dreading. Number two, the driver stopped working, but I figured out what was wrong with it. Number three, we had a crazy storm come through. Number four, I feel like I'm walking on the clouds and can't focus. <laughs>
And number five, Brant, my main man Brant the Builder here, dropped off his skid steer with his bit. And um, he is going to let us bar this and possibly some help for our corner post for the fence and the H post and all that. Also, a lot of you guys reached out to us about the T post system made by, oh gosh, something lock. I don't forgot the name of it now. I'm telling you, my, my, my mind's foggy. Um, anyways, it's a, it's a, a corner post system where you use T post and this little bracket. And y'all said that Kevin and Sarah over there at Living Traditions uses them all the time. So we bought one of those to see how that works. And we may use those as well. So we may use a combination of two. But uh, this right here would be way better than our tractor because you guys saw us trying to dig with our tractor uh, a couple weeks ago and it was the devil. Matter of fact, it wouldn't even go through. So I'm so happy that Brant is allowing us to use this. Now, he's going to have some skid steer driving 101 time with us if, if one of his guys can't come over here and do it. And he's all good with all of that. So either way, we got this for corner post. And I'm hoping these little locking systems work with the T-post. Um, that would save us a really lot of time and a lot of money because you don't have to worry about the, the, the big wooden post and the bags of concrete. But I'm going to do a little bit more research on that. I may watch some more of Kevin and Sarah's videos over there at Living Traditions. And all we really got left to drive post in with is Moody's backside over there. And we'll be done with setting t-post i mean this is it's going pretty smooth except you know little hiccups like today <laughs> well, what do y'all think y'all think brooke would be happy if she gets to drive this thing for a day <laughs> oh like a kid in a candy store <laughs>